Perplexity, Comet, and Claude can eliminate the hours you're spending on content research and the guessing game that comes with it. In this video, I'm giving you the complete system. Here's the roadmap. We're starting with live YouTube data to see what's actually getting results right now. Then we're using Claude to break down why it works and build unique video outlines based on proven techniques. And I'll show you how to apply this to LinkedIn and other platforms. The best part, you can do this in 30 minutes. So let's go. So what is Perplexity Comet? It's Perplexity's browsing agent that can access live data directly from your browsing tabs, which means real-time YouTube metrics, which is exactly what we need. To get it, you're gonna go to perplexity.ai forward slash Comet, download and then install it, and you're good to go. Now, once installed, you're gonna see this interface. And on the right-hand side where it says Assistant, this is where you're gonna be entering in your prompts. And that's it, you're ready to go. Now, because Comet accesses your browser data, some of you might be concerned about privacy. I had the same hesitation, but I'll show you exactly how to handle this at the end. Here's why the process that I'm about to show you is so awesome. When I first started my YouTube channel, I would ask ChatGPT for video ideas and I would get generic topics and outlines that just wouldn't perform well. Then I started analyzing what's already working and reverse engineering the patterns. And that's when I started seeing real results. And that's exactly what we're about to do now. All right, so for this example, let's say we wanted to do a video on home organization and decluttering. On the right hand side of the screen, I'm gonna enter this prompt in. I'm gonna ask it to act like an expert YouTube trend analyst, asking it to find top performing videos in the home organization decluttering niche. I'm asking it to analyze videos published within the last six months and to include videos where the total view count is at least greater than the channel's current subscriber count. So if it's got 100,000 subscribers, then only videos where it has 100,000 or more to be included in this in the search results. The reason why is because that's a signal of a strong performing video on YouTube. All right, so let's click on the green arrow and see what it comes up with. Now, because Comet can access live browser data, it's actually pulling current numbers from YouTube pages, not estimates. Watch, it's analyzing YouTube pages in real time. So it's pulling subscriber count, view count, publish dates, everything we need. All right, so now we've got our finished results. Let's take a look. And look at this, these videos performed way above their channel's normal reach. Here's one that got 143,000 views on a channel with only 6,700 subscribers. That's 21 times their entire audience. This is exactly the kind of data we need, videos that are actually working right now. Now off camera, I've double checked all of these numbers with the actual YouTube channel accounts and every single one of these is correct, which is awesome. Now what we're doing here is powerful for finding winning content ideas, but finding great ideas is just step one. If you can find what works, but you don't have a system for actually creating content consistently across all your platforms, you're gonna hit a wall. That's why I suggest you check out this free guide from HubSpot called How to Use AI to Generate High Impact Social Media Content. This guide shows you how to use AI to build a repeatable content system so you're not just making one good video. You're creating a process that consistently performs across YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, wherever you show up. Here's what's inside. Tips for understanding viral content, best posting times for every platform, how to use AI to turn your ideas into carousels and videos, and how to analyze your performance data so you know what's working. My favorite part is the weekly content calendar template that tells you exactly what type of post to create each day. Engagement posts, value posts, storytelling, so you're never wondering, what do I make today? Download this guide using the link in the description and thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get back to it. We've got our winning videos. Now let's turn them into actual topic ideas we can use. All right, so I'm gonna start a regular perplexity chat with the deep research turned on, and I'm gonna say, I have this table of high-performing YouTube videos in the decluttering niche, then I'm gonna paste in the table with the data that we just got, and I'm gonna say, based on this, and as a YouTube expert with 20 years of experience, what would be three video topic ideas you would suggest I do based on the performance of these videos? All right, so after working for a minute or so, here's what it actually came back with. I tried five different decluttering methods, which one actually works. Decluttering like a high value woman, seven things successful women never keep. Interesting. And extreme declutter challenge. I got rid of 500 plus items in 30 days. That sounds pretty compelling. And of course, these are based on topics that are already performing well on YouTube. Method comparisons, high value women decluttering, and an extreme challenge video. Great, so now I'm gonna say, based on these high performing videos in my niche, and based on your knowledge of successful YouTube video title formulas for high performing videos, suggest three title options for each of these video topics. Perfect, so now we have three title variations for each topic, as you can see. 
using the proven formulas. Now looking at these video ideas, they all look pretty good, but I'm gonna go with, I tried five different decluttering methods, which one actually works, the first idea. The extreme challenge idea looked interesting, but that would take time because I would need to test over 500 items over 30 days. But the comparison angle, I can create that video idea much faster. So this is the idea that we're gonna bring over to Claude in just a few minutes. But first I need the transcript for three of those top videos that we actually pulled from YouTube. So I'm gonna grab the transcripts for the three videos that had the highest view to subscriber ratio. But you could also grab the transcripts for the videos that you liked the best or resonated the most with you out of the data that you pull. Now there's a couple easy ways to do this. You can paste the URL for YouTube, the video that you wanna get the transcript for, into an AI tool like Gemini and ask it to give you the transcript just in a prompt. Or you can just Google YouTube transcript and you'll see lots of search results for free tools that you can use. Just paste in the URL for the YouTube video and it pulls the transcript for you. All right, so now that we have our three video transcripts, I'm gonna go over to Claude so that we can start to analyze them. Okay, so now I'm gonna paste in all three transcripts into Claude and I'm gonna give it this prompt. Now I won't read the whole prompt, but basically here I'm saying, you know, you're a YouTube strategist and a master of audience retention, specializing in deconstructing viral video content and building repeatable frameworks. Here's the transcripts that I'm giving you. I'm asking you to analyze them and synthesize your findings into a single viral video guide. And your goal is to look for common patterns, structures, psychological techniques that make these videos successful. Basically reverse engineer what makes them successful and turn them into a practical blueprint that I can actually use. All right, now I'm also asking it to include a master list of questions that I would need to ask myself about my own content before scripting. These questions should be designed to extract personal stories and unique opinions and value points needed to build a compelling video. All right, so Claude's created the viral video guide. Let's see what's in there. So first it identifies the core blueprint and top psychological triggers for each video. Then it recognizes the common structural elements across all three videos, things like the promise hook, authority establishment, and value delivery structure. So this is super useful for us. Next, the psychological triggers. See this one, normalizing struggle before offering solutions. All three creators admitted to struggling with the same problem before showing the fix. And Claude even pulls the exact quotes where they did this. So this builds trust before you teach something. And then there's even the personal story integration. Every major point in these videos follows a formula, a universal principle, a personal story, and the lesson that they learned. That's what makes content relatable instead of generic. And here's the most valuable part. Claude then created a list of, of questions that I need to answer before I start scripting. Questions about my personal experience, my unique take, specific examples. This is what's gonna make my video sound like me and not like AI wrote it. And this is the critical part. Let me show you what happens next. Okay, so now I'm starting a new conversation and I'm gonna take those the viral video guide that we just got from analyzing those three video examples and I'm gonna give it to Claude. Now I know it looks long, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm giving it a role and asking it to begin by asking me what the core topic of my video is. Then once I provide it with the core topic, it will generate a list of relevant questions that I need to answer to build the video outline for that specific topic. Then once I give my answers to those questions that it provides, it's gonna give me automatically a winning video outline. All right, let's click enter. Okay, and now it's asking me for my video topic, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to perplexity for a second. I'm gonna grab the very first idea we chose about the five different decluttering methods, which one actually works, copy that topic description, and then I'm gonna paste it into Claude. Okay, now look at this. Claude just asked me a bunch of very detailed questions. Questions about my personal experience, specific examples for each method, my authority, the shocking discovery that I made. These are all really good questions that's gonna make my content even better. And this is the secret to why it's not gonna sound like AI wrote it. Claude isn't just generating a generic outline. It's forcing us to dig into our unique story, our unique angle, and our specific examples. So I'm gonna answer these questions now. Let me show you one. What's the most embarrassing or relatable decluttering struggle? And my response, honestly, it was when a neighbor unexpectedly showed up and I literally swiped everything on the kitchen island into a basket and shoved it into a closet. I was so embarrassed. See, that's specific, that's real, and viewers can relate to it. 
All right, so I'm going through each question, the specific items I'll use as examples, the spaces I tested on each method of cleaning or decluttering, and the surprising discovery I made. And all of this would be from your actual experience. Perfect, so now that I've answered the questions based on my own experience and unique story, Claude is now going to give me the video outlines once I give it the responses to my questions. All right, I've given it the answers to my questions and we have our three different outlines based on the same proven blueprints from those successful videos. Outline number one is the experimental comparison. This one is most similar to one of the viral videos, the, the highest performing one that we actually gave it as an example. Outline number two is the catalog journey, more of a structured teaching approach. And then outline number three is the identity upgrade. So an aspirational kind of transformational angle. Let me show you outline number one, because I think this one is the best. Look at the hook it created. It actually used my story about paying movers to transport junk and swiping everything into a closet when the neighbor showed up. That's my unique story that I gave it from my responses, but it's in the structure of a proven successful hook formula. And see these notes in italics? Claude's actually telling me which psychological trigger is being used in each section. This is a data-backed, psychologically optimized video outline that sounds like me. I could script this video today and have the confidence that it's actually built on what's already working. Now, let me show you how this same methodology applies to other platforms like LinkedIn. I'm not gonna walk through every single prompt again because you've already seen the process, but I'll show you how fast this goes when you know the system. I started the same way back in Perplexity Comment, this time searching for successful LinkedIn posts on personal branding. I found five high-performing posts in this table right here. Then I asked for post ideas based on these patterns and it gave me three options. Why you're branded your reputation, not your logo, from LinkedIn back to life, why building your brand offline accelerates online success and the personal development, personal brand connection. So I'm going to go with the first one, why your brand is your reputation, not your logo. Next, I went directly to the actual LinkedIn post using the link in the table that perplexity provided. I picked the three that I liked the best. I copied the text from the LinkedIn posts and fed them into Claude. I then asked Claude to create a guide on what makes these posts so successful the patterns, the techniques, the structure. Within the same prompt, I again asked it to give me a list of essential questions that I need to answer before writing my own post to ensure that it fits the successful models. So the same thing as before, it analyzes the patterns and comes up with a whole guide of what best practices are for a LinkedIn post like this. Then I give it a prompt asking it to use the guide it just created to help me write a new LinkedIn post. But again, it's gonna ask me the questions I need to answer first and then create the post. So first I give it the topic of our post, the idea that we picked from perplexity. Then based on the topic that I selected, it gives me a list of questions that I need to answer. I answer the questions based on my unique experience and perspective, my take on personal branding, my stories and my voice. And immediately Claude gives me three LinkedIn post drafts based on the styles of the successful posts that I analyzed. And these are strong starting points. I can pick the one that resonates with me most customize them, edit them, add my finishing touches and publish. But the foundation that's built on posts that are already performing well, I'm not guessing. All right, let's step back for a second. A year ago, I would have spent hours, maybe days trying to figure out what content to make. Scrolling through YouTube, guessing at topics, hoping something would work. Now you can start with what's already working. Reverse engineer the patterns and add your unique voice and story and angle to it. And this entire process can be done in about 30 minutes for each one. You're not using AI to replace your creativity. You're using it to remove the guesswork so that you can focus on what only you can bring. Your perspective, your experience, and your voice. The data shows you the structure that's getting results, and then you bring it to life. All right, I promised I'd address the privacy concerns with Perplexity Comet, so let's be real about this. First, understand that for an AI browser to be useful and effective, it needs context from your browsing. That means it needs to access your data to a certain extent, but there's ways that you can minimize the risk. Here are two ways to protect yourself. First, adjust Comet's settings. Make sure it's not sending your search information or using your data to improve the product and block access to sensitive sites like your bank accounts or client portals. Second, and this is what I would recommend, create a completely separate Google account and use it for non-sensitive tasks like content research. That account would stay completely isolated from your sensitive data. I know it's not ideal, but this way you can ensure complete data isolation and only link accounts that don't contain critical business information. Try this system out this week and see how much it improves your content. 
If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to learn more, I've just started my own community called the Inverse Circle on School, where I'll be doing weekly videos, live lessons, and you'll get access to a community of like-minded people who are learning how to leverage AI and automation in their business, work, and life. You can find a link to join below. Now, if you want to know more about how to use AI to level up your work and your life, then click this next video.